equivalent fractions using the number line. Take a look at this line numbered from 0 to 1. Its entire length represents a whole. Let's say we want to divide the line into three parts of equal length. So now, our whole is made up of three equal parts. We want to locate the fraction one-third on the number line. We start from 0 and we move across exactly one part. The end point of the first part is the location of one-third on the number line. Now, suppose we take a copy of this line. Here we have two number lines that are exactly the same length. But this time, we will divide the new line into six equal parts instead of 3. Let's say we want to locate the fraction 2 sixths on this new number line. We know that we can find larger fractions by combining unit fractions. So we start from 0 and move across exactly two parts. Joining two equal parts on the number line means combining two copies of one-sixth. And this gives us the fraction two-sixths. So we label the endpoint as two-sixths. Now if we draw a straight line and go downwards from the point one-third on the first number line, we will get to the point two-sixths on the second number line. Since the two number lines are equal in length, then these two fractions are in the same exact position. What does this mean? It means that one-third and two-sixths are equal. In other words, they are equivalent fractions. Because on the number line, they are found on the exact same point. These equivalent fractions have different numerators and denominators because in each case the same whole was divided differently. Our first number line is split into three equal parts while the second number line is split into six equal parts. The number of equal parts changed, so the fractions changed. In this lesson, you learned that equivalent fractions are found on the same point on the number line.